these things. Amen? Come on. Oh, listen to this. Now go with me. This is where we're going this morning. 1 Kings, the 6th chapter. 1 Kings, the 6th chapter. Oh, I'm sorry. 2 Kings, 6th chapter. <clears throat> sorry, my eyes is full of sweat. Hot in here. 2 Kings, the 6th chapter. 2 Kings, the 6th chapter. You find it? Say amen. Amen. Listen to me. Here we find, in the middle of this chapter, the prophet of God, Elisha. Now, in order for you to realize exactly what's going on, you have to go back up and read some of it. But you'll find out that the king of Syria has plans to destroy Israel and their army. All right. And you find out that whenever Elisha hears where they're going to do the attack at, you see some of the old cowboy movies where the cowboys, you know, they go up through the canyon and stuff and the Indians be way up here. Yeah. Fix it to ambush them. Right. That's exactly what the Syrians had in store for the king of Israel and his army. They were going to wait for them in a specific spot, but guess what? God has Elisha go warn the king of Israel. So he spares him. Come on. The king of Syria gets mad and wants to know what is going on here. we got to spy or what? Somebody's telling them where we're going to be and what we're going to do. See it. They said, it's Elisha. Come on. He said, then go get him. Yeah. That's where we come in. Listen to this. Oh my goodness. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in 2 Kings, the 6th chapter, the 15th verse, when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, a host come past the city both with horses and chariots. So the servant of God, the servant of Elisha, gets up that morning after he's had his coffee, I guess, whatever it is he did. And he walks out, out the front door, yeah. and he looks around. And Brother Bill, what's he see? He sees a great host. Yeah. He sees the army of Syria Come on. that has came to fetch his master. Yeah. Amen? Come on. So he walks out and he sees this army of enemies. So what's he do? We do this first thing like we normally do. Oh my goodness, what's going on? What, what are we going to do? That's, our, that's our, our first, our knee jerk reaction most of the time. Amen? Right. So his servant runs into the prophet and says unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? Yeah. What he's saying is, Elisha, what in the world are we going to do? Oh. How many times have you felt like that today? Yeah. How many times have you faced the situation and you looked at your husband and said, what in the world are we going to do? Come on. How many times have you said to yourself, yeah. what in the world are we going to do? Yeah. Come on. How many times have you heard the enemy say, yeah. what in the world are you going to do now? Amen? Yeah. You've been fasting, you've been praying, and things just keep getting worse. Come on, smell it. Amen? Yes. What are we going to do? Let's see what the prophet's reply was. Come on. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early, the Bible says, And gone forth, behold, and host can pass the city, both horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, master, my master, what shall we do? And he answered, This is Elisha speaking, Fear not. For they that be with us yeah. are more than they that be with them. <laughs> and Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. Oh, my goodness. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw this time through eyes of faith. He wasn't blind. He had his natural eyesight. Yeah. His problem was and our problem is that he was looking at the circumstance in the natural. All right. he, was, he could not look no farther than the army of the Syrians that had surrounded the city and that were ready to take them. Come on. He could see no farther than that. And that's where we are most of the time. Most of the time we can't see no farther than the need. Come on, right. We can't see no farther than the bill than the trial. Right. We can't see no farther, Brother Dave, than the test. Come on. We can't see no farther, Sister Cindy, than the turmoil that we're going through. Amen. 
That's all they could see. Yeah. And Elisha says, open up his eyes, Lord. Oh. And this time, through eyes of faith, oh, my, 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 my. Through eyes of faith, listen to this. And the Lord opened his eye, the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. Did you hear that? Hallelujah. The first time he went out and looking through the eyes of the flesh and his own carnal mind and thinking, his attitude was, oh no, what are we going to do? But when he began to look through his eyes of faith, when he began to peer through, hallelujah, the telescope of faith, what did he see? He didn't see the Syrian army and how big they were and how mean they were. He saw that they that were with him were more than those that are against him. Say, Brother Billy, what's that got to do with me today? I'm glad you asked. As soon as you realize that he that is with you is greater than he that is against you, you can begin to sing in your valley. You can begin to shout in your valley. You can begin to dance in your valley. You can begin to have victory in your valley. As soon as you realize that he that is with me is greater than he that is against me. And that's exactly what the servant saw when he went out through his eyes of faith. If we could just look past our circumstance today. If we could just get our eyes of faith to look beyond those that are you feel are against you. And realize, Brother Scott, that those that are with you are greater than those that are against you. Did you hear what I said? Come on. Jesus is with me. Right. Jesus is with me. Amen. Somebody say, Jesus is with me. Jesus, Jesus is with me. Jesus. Greater is He that is with me than it is against me. The Bible says, greater is He that is in me than He that is in the world. Yeah. Jesus is with me. I have no reason to fear. It doesn't matter even if it takes my life. I'm a winner either way because Jesus is with me. He that is with me is greater than he that is against me this morning. The children of Israel, when they were there in the valley yeah. facing Goliath, yeah. the only thing they could see was how big Goliath was compared to them. That's it. And along comes a singer by the name of David. <laughs> A little shepherd boy armed only with a sling. Yeah. And the only thing he could see yeah. was how big his God was yeah. compared to Goliath. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. Thank God that God is bigger than any mountain. Bigger than any trial. Jesus is more than enough. Amen. Yeah. But Brother Billy, you don't yeah. know. Jesus is more than enough. Yeah. yeah, but no, Jesus is more than enough today. Yeah. He that is with us is greater yeah. than he that is against us. Amen. Too many times our problem is like the children of Israel. We can't see no farther than the giant. Amen. What about the spies? Think about that. When they were going to go over into the land of Canaan and they sent out the 12 spies. Ten of them, all they could see was how big the giants were, how big the army was, how big the enemy was. But two of them, Brother Sleece, all they could see was how big their God was. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. They that are with us are greater than they that are against us this morning. It's time for us to quit moaning the blues and realize we are on the winning side. Amen. If you think the story's going to turn out any other way, go over and turn to the back of the book and read, honey, you win. You win. If you're washed in the blood of the Lamb today, you win. You win. You win. Greater is He that is with us and that is against us. Amen. Oh, My goodness. Hallelujah. Same thing at the Red Sea. Right. Aren't you glad they left all these great examples for us to look at? Yeah, so we wouldn't miss it. <laughs> right. Amen. Ain't no reason for us to miss it. Amen heaven today. Come on. We've been given too many examples. Right. We've been given too, given too much word this morning. To whom much is known, much is required. Right. Amen. If you miss it today, shame on you. Amen. Because He has given us enough to make it. Amen. So they're at the Red Sea, and what do they see? They see Pharaoh behind them. They see the sea in front of them, a mountain on each side. Yeah. And what's God tell them to do? Stand still and see me. Yeah. Stand still and see my salvation. 
stand still. Quit looking at the trial. Yeah. Like old Peter when he stepped out of the boat. Quit looking at the storm. Quit looking at the boisterous waves. Get your eyes on the master and realize he's greater. He's greater than any weapon that is formed against you. He's greater today. Amen. He's greater today. My goodness. Psalms 46 and 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. That don't mean that helps on the way. Which is what I started to title today's sermon. That means help's already here. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Present. Present help. Mm -hmm. Look that up in the Hebrew. That means now. He's here. Your help has arrived. Oh. Amen. Help is with you. Oh, hallelujah. Help is with you. It wasn't that the, the prophet's servant went out there and looked and said, Oh, I can tell. There's some dust on the horizon. Maybe there's an army coming to help us. Amen. Mm -hmm. No, he saw that help had already arrived. And whenever we can begin to look through our eyes of faith and realize that help is here. He is greater than anything we go through. He is greater than anything we face. He is greater. Amen. Hallelujah. My, my, my. He that is with us is greater than he that is against us. Amen. He was greater than Pharaoh and his mighty army. He was greater than the Red Sea that lay before them. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says that He rolled back the sea. Amen. With an east wind, I think it says, that blew all that night. And they begin to walk across, not on muddy ground and mud up to their knees or to their elbows, but they begin to walk across. See, He's more than enough. Hey, he ain't just a little bit going to get you by. Amen. He is more than sufficient for what you need today. Amen. I know you may not feel like that right now, but it's the truth anyway. He is more than enough. Amen. They walked across on dry ground. Yes. And then, the story don't end there. They didn't have to go off thinking, well, what if Pharaoh decides to come after us? Because the horse and the rider drowned in the sea. They said, we'll go after them. They charged into the midst of the sea right after them. And you know what happened? The sea closes in over top of the enemy. And God doesn't leave it there. You know what He tells them? You'll never see Pharaoh again. Go over there and read it. That ain't the exact quote, but it's there. The enemy you see today, you will not see again. Amen. Why? Because He's greater. He is he that is with us. See, he that was with them was greater than Pharaoh and his mighty army. He was greater than the Red Sea. When Joshua and the children of Israel faced the walls of Jericho and the army that was inside, God was greater than the walls of Jericho. Amen. When Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, God was greater than the lion's den. Amen. He that was with Daniel was greater than he, the false witnesses that was against him. Amen. Whenever Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was thrown into the fiery furnace, amen, God was greater. He that was with them, oh, what does the Bible say? The king looked down there and said, did not we throw three men in the fire? But now I see four men up loose and walking around. Hallelujah. He that is with you today is greater than he that is against you. That's right, brother. Sooner we get that, the sooner, whenever we're in the midst of our trial, you'll hear us saying, Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the cities of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Amen. Singing praises in the valley. Yeah. We do that, we realize. When we realize these things, amen, He that is with us is greater than He that is against us. He's greater than your failure. Amen. You hear that? He's greater than your failure. Amen. He's greater than your trial. Right. He's greater than your sin. Yeah. Come on. 